Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Booth in Japan. Uh, today I'm starting a new segment called South Africa vs. Japan, where basically I will compare different aspects about the two different countries and award points. But of course the points are made up and they don't really matter. But anyway, so whenever I tell someone I'm from South Africa, I generally get the same reaction. Hey, Minami, Africa? Isn't it dangerous? Do you live with wild animals? Ebola? HIV AIDS? My buddy went to South Africa once. He needed a bodyguard the whole time. Yes, these are actual reactions I got when I tell people from that I'm from South Africa. However, the Ebola comment did come from an American. You know who you are. But in today's episode, I'm not going to focus on the fact that South Africa is further away from the Ebola affected areas than Mexico is from Canada. Instead, I'm going to be focusing on safety in Japan versus South Africa. Now, the way that I answer the question, is South Africa dangerous, is I tell people it depends where you go. So if you go into the township flashing your fancy watch or your fancy car, of course you're going to get mugged or hijacked. It's just something that's going to happen. But if you stick to the safer areas and you're just generally vigilant, it should, you should have lower chances of being the victim of crime. But it still does happen, unfortunately. And it is important to note that South Africa has uh, a robbery rate of 494.5 per 100,000 people per year. This is compared to Japan, where that figure is four. That's right, four robberies per 100,000 people per year. Four. So South African figures are insanely high, but it is important to note that these figures are significantly lower for tourists, but it's still probably higher than it should be. But let's look at the difference between the two, between different cities. So I'm originally from Cape Town, as you can see from my I Love Cape Town t-shirt. Uh, and according to some website, Cape Town has a crime index of 80.98%, while Tokyo only has one of 19.8%. And according to the Economist's Safe City Index 2015, Tokyo is apparently the safest city in the world. But considering that Johannesburg is rated number 47, I don't know how much I trust it. Anyway, so that's a little bit more about safety in South Africa. It is quite dangerous compared to, to Japan. But let's talk a little bit about how I felt uh, with the safety in Japan. Now, I've been here about four months, and so far I have not felt threatened or scared of being a victim of crime, not even once. Uh, people here walk around at night all the time, both men and women. Nobody's afraid to walk the streets at night, whether it's in a suburb or in the main city. Um, you know, even on the trains, people put their bags on the top and then sit down and fall asleep. Uh, and they don't fear their stuff being stolen. They don't, they don't cling to their bags, you know, worried that somebody's going to pickpocket them or steal their stuff. It's amazing how safe you feel here. Um, even your bicycles, of course, they do have bicycle parking lots here, but you can just leave your bicycle standing there. You don't need a bicycle chain. Um, people generally, if they do, if your bicycle does go missing, it's because somebody borrowed it and they might return it. Um, but this being said, crime still does happen in Japan, so you still need to be careful. And there are some dodgy areas in Tokyo, although they are a lot smaller than in, than in many of the cities in South Africa. So yes, yeah, so the final tally, the final score, I wonder who it's going to go to. Yes, that's right, it's going to Japan. So Japan is definitely, definitely a safe country and it's a great place uh, to come and to feel safe while South Africa can be a little bit dangerous. However, I don't want tourists to suddenly go, oh, I'm not going to South Africa now. It's this guy, this random guy on the internet said it's dangerous. But actually, uh, it's still a great place to visit. Like I said, you just have to be careful. And 
yeah so that's it for today's episode if you like this video please subscribe below also follow me on facebook and like me on twitter um, and also check out my blog uh, boothinjapan.wordpress.com uh, because not only will these videos appear there but i also write plenty of interesting articles about my journeys around uh, japan so yes so see you guys next time cheers